So my name is Jasmine and I've been a bus driver for about five years now. I enjoy working with children and I was in a daycare and I decided I wanted to do something different but I wasn't sure quite what. I never thought I would be a bus driver. Ever. <laughs> it's different. You definitely get a mix of different children, interactions with different adults. It's rewarding though. Like, they are the highlight of my life. I don't have kids, so they're like my kids and it's amazing. I, I like it a lot. Being a bus driver has impacted my life because I've actually made really close bonds with the kids. It's kept me from being hard. I have a very hard personality. Um, and with the kids, sometimes the hardness is needed, but I'm playful, I'm goofy, I'm loud, I laugh, and the kids are like right up my alley. Like sometimes I forget I'm the grown up on the bus. <laughs> I like it. I really do. And then you get to you get to really know them. Like if you don't have a passion for kids, then this is not going to be for you because they're going to try you. They have bad days, you know, they have good days and on their good days, they are amazing. Like amazing. Some of these kids are artists, some of these kids sing, some of these kids dance, some of these kids are so smart, like it will blow your mind. Like these kids have a lot of talent. And so they just need somebody to cultivate it. And then sometimes there are kids that you know need more love because they might ne not necessarily get it at home. And so when you're doing stuff like that, it'll be the little stuff like, how's your day? Did you sleep last night? You know, um, do you need lunch money? You know, uh, do you have what you need for school? Do you need me to bring you some pens or some pencils? It's stuff like that. And it makes me feel good because I like giving back to the kids. I really do. And plus, you don't know how just sitting down, talking to a kid, and really listening to their situation or knowing you might have a kid that's going through a lot at home, just sitting down and talking about it and thinking about what you as an adult can do, you know what I'm saying, within reason, to help them live a better life. So, I mean, it's rewarding, it, it really is. So when I first started, I had a kid on my bus and you could tell that um, he didn't really fit in, you know? And so you could tell kids kind of made fun of him, they kind of bullied him, right? But not on my bus, cause I ain't playing it. So he got on the bus and the kids started, you know, to not be very nice separated then moved and he told me when he was leaving I'm gonna just go home and kill myself you know what I'm saying and you could tell he meant that so I stopped what I was doing I called my supervisor she was able to get a hold to the school the school got a hold to the parents and the parents were able to actually stop him because that mom came to my bus the day after and they were very they were very upset and so after a couple weeks when that baby got back on my bus, he thanked me and he was like, thank you, cause you, you helped me and I know you did that. I, you know, I wasn't ready to die. I didn't want to die. And so I still see that kid now. <laughs> he didn't graduate He's doing amazing. He's going to school. He has a good job. I didn't met his little girlfriend. He got a baby on the way. Like it's, it's nice, you know, and you would never think as a bus driver, Oh, I'm going to be, you know, this kid will end up being my family or be my friend one day. But you, the way it ended up working, that's what happened. And I love that little baby. I see him every holiday. He comes back. You know, I have lunch with his grandparents. It's, it's amazing. Like, you, you have to go out of your way. You cannot just sit here in this seat and run your route and make money. Like, you have to interact. You have to care. You can't be biased on this bus. You have to be able to identify that kid that's going through rough times at home. You have to be able to identify that kid that might want to take their own life. You have to be able to identify that kid who hasn't eaten since he got out of school 
yesterday at 3 30 you know what i'm saying you have to be able to watch that stuff you got to be able to see the baby that shoes are tearing up because they don't have no money to afford now you got to be able to see the kid that's coming on your bus with bruises you got to be able you have to be able to see that so you have to be invested otherwise you're gonna be like everybody else and you're gonna walk right by i feel like the kids give me purpose um they make me happy they make me sad they kind of give me a reason to keep going but they're here you know they're here and they look forward to you being there they really do when the kids get on my bus and they say oh miss jasmine i missed you and they give me a hug or they say oh miss jasmine i want to tell you what happened last night at dinner or when they just want to talk to me like I like it like they're like my babies like I said I don't have kids so I mean they mean the world to me so I'm here and I'm here for them be present be aware and be available they need you